Hello, my name is Tim Kasky, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for the DC-DC Power Management business at On Semiconductor. Today we'll be presenting an introduction to a new circuit simulation design tool, CompCalc. CompCalc is an interactive circuit-based design simulator for DC-DC power design. This powerful tool gives you the ability to simulate your design before actually building hardware. Each component value within the system can be dynamically adjusted so you can review the performance real time. For example, the compensation network can be optimized and adjusted while viewing the effects on the gain and phase of the system. Other key parameters, such as output impedance, load transient response, output ripple voltage, and an inductor current can also be monitored real time. This gives you the ability to run simulations of multiple circuit configurations before having to go in the lab and validate your hardware. We feel that this tool is easier to use than PSPICE or other circuit simulation software and allows faster design, optimization, and analysis. Today we will give you an overview of the CompCalc tool and its capabilities. We will use the NCP3102 10-amp integrated regulator as an example. The standard demo board is available from the ON Semiconductor website and a CompCalc file can be loaded which matches this demo board. Now I'll hand it over to Chuck Mullet, who is our Senior Systems Principal Design Engineer, and he'll guide you through the tool. Well, here is the screen that we see when we open up CompCalc, and what you see on the screen at the moment is the circuit diagram furnished by CompCalc, but it's a standard buck regulator, and we plugged in all the values that appear in the NCP3102 evaluation board. We put in all of those values one at a time. For example, here's the inductor, uh, its series resistance. Here's the main output filter capacitor, one millifarad, its ESR. And I had to guess at the uh, series inductance of this because it wasn't specified. We have here the transconductance amplifier that's part of the NCP3102. It has a nominal transconductance of three millisiemens. Uh, this is an old program, so it's expressed in Mohs. But at any rate, um, that's the story. It's a transconductance amp, and these are all of the circuit values in the compensation network that you see on the data sheet. What we're looking at on the oscillogram screen here is the output transient response uh, with the scale adjusted to fill the screen, and what you can see is that it's about 220 millivolts peak to peak. Um, as a matter of fact, if you read this little box down here, it's actually 218 millivolts peak to peak. And that's as a result of a 5 ampere transient, as you can see over here. Uh, the, the transient step is 5 amperes, and the resistive load without it is 5 amperes. So it's a 5 to 10 ampere output step. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the power stage. If you click on this tab, what you see here now is the modulator and the output filter. And you can see that the initial pole is around uh, maybe 1.2 or 3 kilohertz. And that's a result of the inductor and the main output cap. What's really cool about CompCalc is that I can grab this inductor and with the slider over here on the right, I can change its value. And as you might expect, when I increase the inductor value, that, that uh, frequency goes down. I'm going to set it back where it was at about 3.3 microhenries. It's hard to set that value exactly, but I can just type it in if I like. Push Enter and now that value is fixed in there. You can go around uh, on the rest of the circuit and play with these values. For example, let's take the main output cap and play with the capacitance of it. I can zoom out to get more range over here, and then I can move the slider up and down. And as you can see, as I increase the cap, the corner frequency goes down, as one might expect. I'm going to set it uh, back at 1 uh, millifarad. You can go through the entire circuit and play with all of these values, uh, including the compensation values. You can, of course, uh, eliminate one of the output caps by simply setting its value to zero. But there is uh, room in this scanned uh, schematic to have two separate output caps with separate ESRs and separate series inductances, which is really what's happening in that evaluation board. 
we have two 100 mic identical capacitors in parallel and that's what results in this 200 mic cap and then there's a singular one millifarad capacitor beside that. The series resistance of this inductor is specified by the manufacturer and I can play with that and see what happens. As you might expect if that goes up we'll damp that uh, that pole at the corner frequency and so if I zoom out here and, and raise that value you'll see that get damped as you might expect. So it's interesting to play with this. It's very educational as you're learning about uh, frequency compensation and it's also nice if you'd like to change the values in that evaluation board for your design. Suppose you want to use a smaller inductor or different values of capacitance on the output or you'd like to trim up that transient response, you can go through here and do that one part at a time. Here's the compensation network frequency response, and of course this is just the transconductance amp with its compensation values. Here's the closed loop response, uh, actually the open loop response, I'm sorry. Um, it's the open loop response consisting of the feedback network, the transconductance amp, the modulator, and the output filter. Here's a closed loop response. This is the output impedance as a function of frequency. Here's the transient response as we saw before. And again, you can play with the capacitor values and so on and see what happens there. For example, suppose I had more gain in this transconductance amplifier. You can see that it'll do a job of clobbering that, uh, that transient. The amplitude goes down and the, the uh, speed goes up and, and so on. Uh, it's nominally three um, millisiemens and I've set it back to that value here let me just plug in three again <clears throat> it, it's actually specified to be as high as five I think so you can go through the entire circuit playing with the values and seeing what happens and finally arriving at the final design that you like here's the ripple voltage the red is the output transient load the green is the inductor current and the white is the actual voltage ripple. So I hope you enjoy using this tool. We've certainly enjoyed preparing it for you. Thank you. Thanks, Chuck. Today we discussed a tool utilizing the NCP3102 10 amp integrated switching regulator, but the tool can also be used with other products from On Semiconductor. CompCalc also has a quick recall button in the lower right hand corner, which allows you to save multiple product configurations or different configurations of the same product. Look for our next video featuring ComCalc, which will take us from initial product design concept through final hardware and show how the optimization of the power design will give us highest performance and lowest cost. Thanks again. My name is Tim Kasky from On Semiconductor. Visit the On Semiconductor website and click on the software link under the design support tab for a free download of the ComCalc software. <laughs>